Hi, in this video we're going to show you how the import your files process works when you do a new installation of Windows uh, when, and when you log in with the same user account you'll have an option to import your files and so you could have your Windows experience be the same on your new computer as on your other computer. So we have two computers here. This one with Windows 11 already configured, signed in with Todd Sims and you can see here we have some files that are being synced with our OneDrive account that got the little blue cloud icon with the green check mark. And then also in our documents here, we have some files here as well being synced. And then on this other computer, we're inst installing a new copy of Windows 11. So this is after the files have copied and we're just doing the first initial setup. So we're going to take it from there and see what happens. So we're going to say yes to the region, keyboard layout. Skip. So we have another uh, video on how to install Windows 11, so if you want to see that from start to finish, you could watch that one. Okay, let's give it a name. Okay, so here's where we need to sign in with our Microsoft account here, so we can get everything synced up. And obviously this has to be the same Microsoft account that you use on your other computer. Let's do this pin creation real quick. All right, so here's what we have here. We set up as a new device or it found another computer, Win 11 PC that was last synced. So if you have another device, you could try this to see if it'll find it, but we're going to use this uh, one that we know is a, another copy of Todd's uh, computer here. Okay, then just the, I always like to turn these off just to keep Microsoft out of my business. And this is optional if you want to customize your Windows experience for the type of work you're going to be doing on it, but I'm just going to skip that for the sake of time. Okay, we're not going to, well, we'll, we'll, we'll set up the uh, OneDrive so it'll keep syncing with the other computer. I'm not going to worry about Office 365 here or this Game Pass. All right, another check for updates. And now the initial login that you get when you configure a new computer or when you add a new account to an existing computer. All right, so now we have our new Windows computer desktop ready here. And so we're going to see if our files sync up here. So we see that OneDrive is not signed in, so it's starting to sign in there and doing its sync, you could see, with a little blue uh, icon there. And here comes our files. Okay, let's see if our documents are there yet. Yep, and here's all our documents and the status. They're synced from the cloud here, so you can tell this icon, the blue cloud icon, means they're coming from the sources from another computer or from OneDrive, where if it had the green check mark, that means it's created on this actual computer. So we actually have a, another video on how to uh, set up sync between two computers or more with your account, so if you want to check that out. But anyway, so it looks like it was successful, so just, you know, just changing that one setting during the Windows installation and making sure you... Enable OneDrive should do the trick for you. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.